Hello my lovelies, I hope you're having a dandy old week. Maximum dandiness up in this mother f***er. And yes, I'm very good, thank you, thanks for giving a s***. Uh, back in the hoodie again, because it's cold as balls outside, hooray. But no, actually I'm 100% fine because we just got a big shop in. So in that room there, I've now got enough booze to permanently blind a herd of buffalo. And it's actually been quite an eventful work on the tech scene as well. I've got lots of news hastily scribbled down which we need to get through, so let's not bugger about. Ah, ah, getting jingly with it. Expert Weekly. So one of the biggest headlines this week was, yes, the completely unshocking revelation that OnePlus is indeed releasing a mid-range mobile called the OnePlus Nord at some point this summer. And people that was even confirmed that it will cost €500 Euros when it's released here in Europe. So I'm hoping for a UK asking price around the £400 price point to really compete with the likes of the Oppo Find X2 Lite, making it a more affordable alternative to the likes of the Poco F2 Pro. And it's also been confirmed that the OnePlus Nord will be coming to Europe and India first as well, although apparently there'll be some kind of crazy beta system going on in the US as well. Uh, OnePlus's words, not mine. Not sure if that's possibly similar to what OnePlus originally did with its first lot of handsets. And apparently we can look forward to some Scandinavian style design from the OnePlus Nord as well, which presumably means we'll have to put it together ourselves using instructions written by some teenagers pothead. Just kidding, very Scandi viewers out there, we love you lots and lots. And we'll have more on the OnePlus Nord as further information trickles on out, but for now it's pixel time baby! It's the Pixel 4a update! And the update this week is, there's still f all sign of it. Stay tuned next week for another exciting Pixel update. It's the Pixel 4a update! Uh, yet more news, this week Qualcomm also announced this latest Snapdragon Wear chipset will be set to power the next generation of Wear OS wearables. It's called the Snapdragon Wear 4100 Plus and it will apparently double the performance of the old 3100 while also increasing the potential battery life by 25% which will definitely be welcome if true. And you can expect to see the first new Snapdragon Wear 4100 Plus watches hit in stores later in 2020, starting with the Monvoy Tick Watch Pro. And frankly, my nipples are so hard right now, they could probably cut through cement. And geez, there's lots more <laughs> news as well. Oppo launched a new budget blower, catchily titled the A72, uh, not to be confused with the Scottish A road that passes through Peebles, of course. And that bad boy will cost you just 219 quid, despite rocking some pretty decent specs, and hopefully should prove a strong rival to the Moto G8 Power thanks to the mighty 5000 milliamp battery packed inside. Full review hopefully coming very soon indeed. And I'm already running seriously low on time so I'm gonna have to cut out the rest of it uh, and let's hold hands and skip merrily into the garbage fire that is viewer comments. Whoop whoop! Viewer comments! <laughs> And first up, Michael says, I'm missing Motorola, those slackers. Aren't we due for another Motorola handset? Mate, seriously, don't even. They will watch this and they will release another half a dozen handsets just to spite all of us. He was just joking, Mr. Motorola. Please don't release 20 more Moto G8 phones. Please, thank you, please, sir. Thank you, please. Uh, next up, Little Patience for Self-Righteous Moral Hypocrite says, I wish Sony would make a new tablet. Well, first off, that's probably the best username that I've read out all year, so you win uh, a medal of some sort, well done. And second of all, uh, hard agree. Those were little rectangular slabs of joy. Those Sony Xperia tablets absolutely loved them. In fact, there was one EFA uh, probably about three or four years back where I actually had to use a Sony Xperia tablet as a laptop for the entire time to publish all of my content because I left my actual laptop on the plane when I disembarked. Whoopsies! So literally I had to write articles, edit photos, upload it all to the CMS, everything on this bloody tablet. And you know what, it worked, but I needed a good few strong whiskies at the end of all that one, that's for sure. And next to Bog Lizard says, when testing video or audio on phones, I think you should step up the toilet humour to the next level by using some of the endless fart videos on YouTube. I recommend playing Angry Grandpa All Farts 2007 to 2017, one of his explosive farts will test out the audio quality on the best of devices. I mean, I don't know where this angry grandpa is, but it can't be any worse than that bad grandpa nonsense with Bob De Niro, right? Okay, let's check it out. Was it angry grandpa best farts? Here we go. Every fart ever, 24 minutes and 55 seconds. <laughs> Literally is some guy farting. All right, down the rabbit hole we go. Let's just boost up the volume. I'm gonna smell the party here. Oh. <laughs> no, that was far too wet. He definitely sharted with that one. <laughs> that sounded like a modem backfiring or something. <laughs> the force of that one. 
Okay, that one probably just shattered both of his hips. Uh, anywho, moving on swiftly, uh, Dill says, do you think any company will knock Samsung off their perch? I think Xiaomi could eventually do it. And sure, I'd definitely be surprised if the trend wasn't more towards people buying more affordable Androids, the likes of OnePlus and Xiaomi are starting to break into that sort of public subconscious, uh, especially if Xiaomi manages to sort out its pretty shonky MIUI software as well, make it a bit more friendly to Westerners, which it seems like it is with MIUI 12. But yeah, as the likes of BlackBerry have quite obviously uh, demonstrated no one is invincible in this industry at all and uh, if the likes of Samsung decide to rest on their laurels they don't really innovate year in year out then I can see them going the same way. I mean I still remember when BlackBerry used to host massive gatherings at trade shows like MWC and I think I, the last time I saw BlackBerry at that show they were actually just holding meetings in a trailer out in the car park. Sad times. And next up Daffod says Chris I thought you were mega rich you mean to be say I've been watching a pauper LOL. I know that I definitely give off an air of aristocracy. Uh, that's actually just the cheese that I had for lunch. Well, the truth is, in this very strange game that is the wonderful world of YouTubing, um, it is possible to make a load of money if that's all you're really interested in. A uh, little peek behind the curtain here. I was actually offered four grand this week just to review a mattress. It's just a bog standard mattress as well. It wasn't even a so-called smart mattress. You know, it couldn't massage you into a gentle slumber. It couldn't rate you on the quality of your sleep. It couldn't beam sexy dreams into your skull while you slept. I'll tell you what, it's crazy town on here. It really is. And I'll happily take the occasional sponsored deal from a brand that I trust in order to help keep the lights switched on at Expert Towers, help keep the fridge stocked with booze, uh, but I refuse to do uh, what marketing wankers like to call integrations, which is basically I'll just stop in the middle of a video and stop banging on at you about a VPN that I've never even heard of for two minutes and why you should go use it. And of course, sponsored reviews, which are shady as sh I mean, they're not reviews. If you get paid money in order to say things at the camera, then it's definitely not impartial anymore. But yes, if there's anyone out there who wants to make a load of money, then definitely start doing the YouTube and because it's perfectly possible to make an absolute packet. Uh, Next up, Gordy says, Chris, do you ever use Zedge? It's great for wallpapers, especially from all of the other smartphone manufacturers. Um, I don't usually, but I do like Zedge. I've used it in the past. I've actually included it in my roundup of the best wallpaper apps for Android. So definitely go check that out if you want to know more about Zedge or the other great apps out there. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, grub, grub. Next up, Chris says, hi, where do you think the standard OnePlus 8 will stand based on rumored specs of the OnePlus Nord? Seems very similar and the 8 didn't come out that long ago. Well, the Nord will definitely be a very much a cheaper handset compared with the OnePlus 8 Sport and slightly slimmed down specs uh, just for those fans who can't quite afford the uh, the flagship prices which are creeping up that little bit year on year. So for instance you can still expect the OnePlus Nord to come with 5G support and be solid for gaming as well but it'll probably likely sport the Snapdragon 765G chipset instead of the Billy Big Bollocks 865 which actually has the integrated 5G modem so again a bit of cost saving. It'll probably come with less jazzy camera tech as well maybe a pared down display but overall it should do General fans of OnePlus and the OnePlus UI, absolutely fine. Uh, next comment, I like the anime wallpapers. It's nice to see someone enjoy anime who isn't the stereotypical nerdy type. Well, I may not be stereotypical, but I'm certainly a massive nerd. But yeah, hopefully uh, people's perception, the general public's perception of anime in general is changing, especially with the likes of Netflix, ranging quite a lot of anime shows on there, the likes of Castlevania. They actually get quite good publicity on there too. But yeah, it's kind of like back in the day where everyone thought that video gamers were all basically sweaty virgin man child things with hairy palms and man tits. As these days obviously you can indulge in a good bit of gamer without the Daily Mail screaming at you that you're a horrible aberration of a human being and basically responsible for the downfall of society. Uh, next comment, Richard Reich says, stop saying bad boy if you would be so kind, thank you. Mm, nope. JLC says, no you're not a fan of 2 megapixel macro lenses on budget smartphones. Do you think that 5 mega or even 8 megapixel resolutions would make them more viable? I would personally prefer one or two good cameras rather than crappy ones if I bought any phone. And yeah, same, I'd rather have the, the pixel strategy of just having one or two really good lenses that can capture good looking photos in pretty much any conditions rather than like four or five lenses, all of which produce quite mediocre photos. And yeah, I've definitely gotten used to the flexibility of having like an ultra wide angle lens and a telephoto lens as well, but the likes of a macro lens can just bugger right off, frankly. Bit of a pub update as well. Kath says that the Welsh pubs are sadly staying closed apparently, uh, while Rob is enjoying a cold draft down in Oz. Lucky bugger. Yeah, my local's due to reopen uh, this week 
weekend, but to be fair, even with the pubs closed, still seen plenty of mass gatherings, people just gathering around on little patches of pavement, knocking back cans of Stella, pissing on cars, punching ups in the streets. Yep, Britain has well and truly resumed normal service. God bless you, Blighty. And yeah, now it's well and truly time for me to do one, as they say, because uh, it's been banging on for so, so long now. Uh, a couple of peeps asking about the full Xperia 10 Mark II review, that should be coming tomorrow. Touch wood, as long as my laptop doesn't absolutely shit itself during the upload. And coming up over the next few days, we've finally got the Nokia 5.3 in. That bad boy arrived, so I'll be covering that. Uh, Oppo Find X2 Lite review, hopefully touch wood. And of course, same time next week, Friday at lunchtime, another Techspert Weekly. So please do leave your comments down below, and I'll smash through as many of those as possible in next week's show. Hooray! That is if I don't go and then drink all of that booze all in one go, and then basically wake up next Sunday. So have yourselves a lovely weekend people. Cheers. Love you.